Welcome back to Let's Play Imperator Rome and the glorious Roman nation is growing but we are fighting a fierce war on multiple fronts all over this part of the world. So uh, let's get rolling and see if they can uh, maybe conquer some land to, to make this uh, beautiful nation even stronger. Because that's, that's definitely the way our nation is meant to be. And now we should just get into battle with one guy, so it shouldn't be much trouble that we are coming from the boats. And uh, as soon as these are out of the boat, we're going to send these guys back here to uh, remove the black flag from my uh, embarrassing mistake in, uh, in the last episode. Yeah, we won this one with ease. And we captured an enemy. So let's see if, uh, well, uh, kind of garbage, I guess. And he had no money at all. Probably gonna let him rot in prison then. See no reason to do much with him. But we did lose somebody that, that is less fortunate. And, um, that was uh, our Navy commander. So uh, who will be the new Navy commander? Do we have any good options here? So we most definitely want this guy, this youngster, 17 year old, with a siege bonus and an 11 skill, but not for our boats. So he, he is going to be a future general for sure. And he belongs to a military faction, that's great. So this guy, he should probably also be a general. He's from a Scorn family, and he's high skill, and he has a pretty decent bonus here. With uh, but at the same time, we don't have uh, much of uh, these uh, carryouts and heavy cavalry right now. So, not not for now. We um we have quite a few options here. Nobody with a boat bonus. I think we should go for these uh, bigger guys. And uh, big, I mean, these guys are from the same family. I think I'm gonna take the old guy. And then maybe we can bring uh, the youngster to uh, to an army. Yeah, let, let, let's do that. Then have you guys get onto the boat. Oh yeah, we we need to we need to we have newly created a one extra boat to be able to actually get these guys on board. So where are you heading? You're on low morale, and you are heading to. Uh, is these guys just moving? Antonia, it's mountains, and I'm betting we can't get there before them, can we? 8th of April, 23rd, okay, I'm, they're probably going to stop now. But let's, uh, we could wait a few days then. See if we can, can have them get along. Now, now all of them are just walking. So they will arrive 21st, 20th, 20th. Now we would arrive still the 10th. But we are trying to, to play uh, some cheesy stuff here. See if we can... Uh, can have them locked in so they fight us in defensive terrain. Few more days. 19th. Now's the question will they turn around or will we get to fight them with the defensive terrain bonus? No, they stopped. That was what I was expecting. That was unfortunate. Let's just stay here then and see if now they're probably going to start walking again. And their flag, their, their, their color here is uh, it's so bright compared to all the other nations' colors. Like I was thinking, is something bugged out with my map mode or what's going on here? But uh, that wasn't the case. Now we have the extra boat. Now we should be able to bring them on. Better late than never, I guess. And I am waiting with uh, spending invention, uh, buying inventions in case I would like to, to move with some pops to m make some more min-maxing. I'm, I'm staying like this for now. We're going to send them back and then they will not be black flag and then we're going to have two big, big stacks here. But now we've got a new text, so maybe we've got something funny 
I know. Well, it's going to be 900 days. So, um, hopefully we can uh, get some more land before that happens. But we did, let's see, did we get something interesting here? Like, wrong culture group happiness is going to be huge in, in the later games when we are starting conquering more lands here. But right now we don't have that much of uh, other cultures, which uh, makes me think that uh, we should be fine for now. We really should. Let's see though if uh, we can piece somebody out now, mainly uh, Circassia. And now they are accepting things. So what are we actually getting? We are getting that and that. We are not. Yeah. Wait. So if I just click this. Yeah, I think I'm going to leave this city to them. I'm going to wait until we can take all of this. Because we are getting... We are high at aggressive expansion already. Then, of course, we want all your money. Brilliant. And wait, 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 now look, look, look at this. Some big stuff is happening. Um, they accepted a peace deal. But uh, because of this new glorious land joining the Roman Empire, we have increased in rank. We are now a major power instead of a regional power that we used to be. And this is because we now have... 100 cities in the glorious Roman Empire and uh, the, spe the following special rules can be used Guaranteeing other countries can threaten war can support rebels can have alliances We are getting some some decent bonuses here capital import routes is great Diplomatic relations diplomatic range government bonus. I mean a lot of good things from growing a lot of really good things from growing I, I am pleased, I, I must say, if I if I may. So what about the culture? We're probably going to start focusing on culture here pretty soon. But I think I'm going to wait until after the war so I can look through this uh, nice and slowly, starting to culture converting. And then let's take a look at the families to see if they have somebody that's not garbage. Still so early in the game, so all, all the kids are so young. Uh, I'm used to play like from, from other saves I've played. Ooh, an 11! And he's only 46! I see... Um, I see some potential here. <laughs> but I mean, for being 46, it looks more like 60, but an 11! I like it. It's a religious faction. Maybe not great. Does he have any good... Oh, look. I mean, we don't have any camels. I get that. That wasn't too exciting. We clearly can't have him as a ruler. It will give us more expensive... will give us more aggressive expansion. Loyalty gain chance. So we will lose loyalty if he's a commander. Governor. I mean, with an 11, and he's only 4 to 6. We, we need to take him. That, that's too good to pass up on. So you are welcome to the Roman Empire. And the rest of the guys, well, you're going to be crucified. And now, let's see ASAP if, uh, if we want to use him in any way. So the military one right now is a level 8. That's not much. We could replace the eight with these this new eleven guy, and I think we are going to do that because that's a huge difference, and we didn't want him as a general because of some bad stuff. I think we can always bring him back if we need a stronger general. So let's assign him. Boom! A lot more military tech is coming in. Do we have any? Uh, other guys that need to be uh, replaced. I don't think so. We could. That was a slight thing we could have changed. But uh, let's see. What? A five? Really? Um, he 
here we probably would like to have a uh, a military guy because this role gives uh, senate influence do we have anybody for from that is uh, a military uh, think I mean we don't even need that high of a skill it's not I think we're gonna go with this uh, where we'll say this uh, military guy is giving us some more influence and we have an eight here and that is our faction leaders so we probably want him to have a job even though he's uh, only an eight I'll, I'll say so I think I believe we're gonna keep it like this no we are going to bring in a slightly stronger one here just because he's scorn so yeah that was some uh, some min maxing going on let's get back to increasing our glorious borders before uh, the game decides that we are going to get a piece no matter if we want it or not so you guys jump over here should be no longer black flag and of course we got another trade route in the capital from becoming a more big fancy so uh of course this this is a problem we have with kids. this is almost a little bit funny because um people don't seem to like us much they don't seem to like us much at all but maybe they, maybe do we pick up any surpluses down here in our new provinces when we have some wine, we have some wood down here. So we could be trading with uh, with other parts of our nation. Weird that we, we can't do that. Maybe the game hasn't updated from the peace deal. We're just going to wait a little bit longer to see if uh, if something pops up when uh, when the monthly tick has been. Now these guys are no longer black flag. Let's get back on the boat and then get back over the pond. Now let's uh, check if uh, if we can uh, do some uh, internal trading. Way that we can't, we really should be. Are they disloyal down here? I'll guess they doesn't show up. But they have to be disloyal for now. <laughs> they have bleed them dry. Really? Really? Bleed them dry? I think we're going to go for culture assimilation. And then let's go for a few things we can actually tra trade. We can trade grains. So that's the only thing available right now. And if we get grain, it will give us more uh, growth and it's going to give us more manpower. So I guess it's not too bad. We're going to take it because, uh, I mean, our, our aggressive expansion is definitely not having a great effect on uh, on our trading situation. I, I don't get it. I, th I think they should, should like it anyways. So we are losing something to attrition here. How many units? Um, can we move one guy away, one of you guys over here? Let's see if that's enough to stop losing attrition. Can we make landfall over here? Yes, we can. We can go the backwards route here. And now we're not taking any attrition on, the, on our own armies. And now they want to attack us into defensive terrain. This is a 9 versus a 7. Do we probably want to replace him now with a... Some of them could be... all. Oh, they are loyal to him. But what if we bring in the young guy? The number 11. Or even the 10, just because he's scorned. He also have the siege ability. So we're just going to prioritize him because of him. Um, of course, he comes from a scorned family. Like that. Now I think we should winning this without even reinforcing. We should stay away. I'm not going to reinforce unless something goes bad. We have a, they're going to have a minus 2 penalty from the river crossing and the hills. 
And we have a disloyal, and of course that was, was because he lost his job. I mean, he's so bad, we can't really give him another job, can we? Is he, yeah, he has a son that's old enough for a job. Do he... Let's consider giving him a job. Procolius Flavius, he is good at one thing. Let's see, how does it look here? Pen and, um, I mean, that's sim. So that's not enough. They are scorn anyways. And we really can't give that, uh, even though he's the faction leader, can't see us giving him a job with these skills. So let's just bribe him. Pick up some corruption. Let's see how much corruption do we have now. I mean, the corruption, of course, we are chasing rulers all the time. And uh, the corruption is tied to rulers, so it uh, disappears quickly. There they are. Let's see, white piece. Still have 8,000 days. We want to conquer some more land before we uh, get into a piece. Peace is a lie. Everybody knows it. Let's move you over here, just to be able to reinforce if something bad happens. Now we're taking attrition here again. The attrition went away when we moved one guy, but he's back. So take a look at this battle. It's really close when it comes to, to the stats. They have a slight advantage when it comes to discipline, but that's about it. They have zero heavies though. We have a lot of heavies. Should, these heavies should really be destroying their light ones. We should be winning a big battle here, especially with two terrain penalties. I'm, I'm expecting them to get crushed. We, we really should be crushing them. And their morale is ticking down quickly here. Beautiful. There it is, and we're not going to, to uh, try to catch them. We're just going to let them run. Now they are going to attack these guys instead, straight into the mountains. And I say, let them come. Now they decided to stop. Now they are moving back. So I'm going to move back to. Going to go back myself. Just sending some pops to Rome. Fine, fine, fine. Now we need to get this siege going. I think we should go straight for the siege. Now we could siege this one down first, this poor. Yes, for fun. Melancholia. Overtaken by smoldering, uh, smoldering intense depression. Publius has sunk into a downward spiral from which we were worried he will never return. We can only pray that fate smites kind love him and it saddens and he gets depression and they already have cancer so i can understand why he gets uh, depressed as uh well some some bad stuff here but i can understand why he gets depressed so his stats is declining even further his health is going down even he's 71 so probably won't have that long to live we have a lot of money though, so I think it's time to build some uh, buildings. Rome, let's see. Actually, let's go for, uh, we want to prioritize places with people, as always. And uh, I have done a slight bit of min-matching, min but uh, not much. And uh, the reason for that is mostly that I feel like we don't need it. I think it would have been another thing if we were playing on a higher difficulty. And I'm looking forward to try the higher difficulties uh, later on. But uh, for now, I feel like uh, this is uh, kind of wish we want to roll. Like that. Some money spent. Invested in our glorious nation. So how far are you running? Can we go to this city now? Yes. Wanted not to be fighting there. Hopefully they will. We're kind of good. They are stopping here. I was, th was thinking that they may go to uh, to the city here with the, with the fortress. And now both of these guys are taking siege penalties. So you are going back here. 
and we're going to remove yet another heavy you are going down here let's see how it looks now with uh, attrition and we are actually before we take these trade deals because clearly we have some new trade stuff let's see if we can get anything to roam here that we'd like nope not at all so i'll guess we are just going to be offering that away then and if we manage to conquer this land we're going to have a border versus uh, macedon that could be very interesting for the future like really really interesting do we get a blockade from this i think we do no well i'm stupid i thought that this one was connected to the water but clearly it is not finally no attrition again they're going down here i'm betting it would be great if he went here so we could really like close them off but now they are moving back so just because we have incoming we're going to send these guys back and take attrition again but these guys will be moving forward trying to catch these even though always farmland so they're not even going to get terrain we have a decent leader also for the uh the mercs let's see that they, they are still missing morale from the last battle and uh, they should be crushed quickly yes we did but oh it's a stack wipe too that is glorious beautiful exactly what we wanted still have quite some time before the peace if we get this siege done we are going to be conquering it all but um that army is annoying i must confess now they are going where but now we can we can run after them each everything down let's see who what side they are going to go for because i'm guessing they're going to try to attack one of these but no matter who they go for looks like they're going here they will be in a the defensive trade penalty and uh i think we should be fine not even without even sending any more armies there but i would much rather prefer them fighting the mercs we don't have to spend our own manpower because uh who likes to spend the, spend their own manpower they are actually getting a disadvantage here so this is this is going to be a big blow towards their army a big one they are getting crushed here i'm not sure why they attacked us in that defensive terrain and they knew that they were gonna lose they didn't lose that many units though hopefully yes they are running this direction this is perfect because we want all their units out of this land because if they are out of this land it means we can have everything siege down which means we should get everything as soon as we have the peace deal and we are working towards it and now we can send some guys away again get rid of the attrition and we get another trade offer thank you for your money now it's only the siege but that's not only it's, it's a big big thing but i think the siege is going to be in the next episode as always thank you for watching press that like button i really appreciate it and i'll see you in the next episode